Warning, this is an unboxing. If you do not like unboxings, do not watch this video. Thank you. Hey everyone, Tom here, and today we are going to unbox the Lulzbot Mini. And I don't want to waste any time here, let's get right into it. I got two cameras set up, one in front of me, one somewhere further up. So this is the Lulzbot Mini. It's, it's supposed to be mini. It's got a pretty darn big box, but I suppose that's just for shipping. It did get pretty beat up on the way here. And before I open this, I want to point this out. It says open right up top here. And that's, I think that's pretty genius. Um, now the load spot is actually all open hardware, actually truly open source hardware. And having open on the side that you're supposed to open it, but also indicating that the load spot is open. I think that that's, that's pretty smart. So let's dig in here. Let's move this over. Start here and safety warnings for the Lulzbot Mini 3D printer. Um, I'm actually not going to start there. I'm, what else do we get here? We are getting an accessories pack. Let's start with that. That looks kind of exciting. So we are getting a USB thumb drive. I suppose um, the Lulzbot Custom Cure comes on here. We are getting a... Uh, oh, this is actually a pretty sharp knife. Um, supposedly for removing prints from the bed. Then there are, wow, I have no idea what these are. USB cable, power cable, wrong one for me, unfortunately. A little hex wrench, and what else? And a basic set of tools. This is a, a little metal brush. Never seen these before. Um, and then we are getting a sharp pokey tool. I, right now, I have no idea what these could be used for. And a pair of tweezers. These, wow, these, these look these look pretty nice. Seem to be stainless steel even. And of course, I almost forgot this one. This is the original octopus. This is not the rocktopus that, that's on the box here. Um, but it's the original octopus that this model was made from. By the way, um, if you haven't seen this yet, um, this is the, the Lutzbold mascot, the, the rocktopus. And it also says on here, rocktopus by... Kent Johnson is licensed under Creative Commons um, Attribution Share Like 4.0 and derived from work by Deeds1 and yeah, old Brian, lowspot.com slash rocktopus. I guess that has some more licensing information on there. Let's dig a bit deeper here. I, I don't think I can just lift this out. Hold on. All right, there it is. Let's take these off. Wow, this, this guy actually looks a far bit bigger than I imagined. Ha, it's got a, it's got a, a, a textured handle in here. That's kind of cool. There you go. Uh, now, now I see what these felt things are for. Um, if you look at the back of the bed here, there's actually, you probably can't see it, but there's a felt area. Supposedly that's where the Hot end tip goes to clean itself. That's a pretty neat touch. All right, last bit of packaging material here. Oh crap, I don't think I have any three millimeter filament. Ha ha, here we go. I actually got another box with this. Wow, this knife is sharp. Here we go. I've actually got my, my entire printer fleet converted to three millimeters, so I, I don't actually have any three millimeter filament left. Except for that, that spool back there, which is homemade white filament. Which I don't want to torture this, this beautiful machine with. So they sent me a red HIPS 3mm filament spool from uh, Esun. So this is uh, HIPS, I suppose. I've heard great things about the Esun filament, so I'll get to try that out. So yeah, that's pretty much the entire unboxing. Pretty fast, huh? Let's see if we can get a first print out of this guy fast. So for that, we are going to read the safety and warning sheet. Oh, look at that. That's, that's probably about enough to print one of these octopuses. Safety and warnings. The Lulzbot Mini 3D printer has motorized and heated parts. Always be aware of possible hazards when the printer is operating. Burn hazard, electric shock hazard, fire hazard, pinch hazard, ventilation H1... CE! 
That's actually nice. This printer has a CE certificate, which means that you will be able to import it to the to the Europe states, to Europe, uh, without any major issues with imports and stuff. A testing protocol? Yes. All checked, so this guy should be good to go. Packing slip by completed by Shelly. So thanks, Shelly, for packing this. And thanks, Frank, for testing his bot. A load bot sticker. A wow. Wow, this this is this is pretty. This is a nice touch. So here we got a sheet explaining all the terminology, all the parts that are involved in your printer. Then there's a note about all the file types that are involved in 3D printing. A link section for material source files, very important. Social media that you can follow Lilspot on, communities about 3D printing in general, and they are not including the 3D printing community on Google+. Plus. Shame on you, Lilspot. So yeah, this is a really nice touch. I think that might go on the wall, I'm not sure. And the start here guide. Download and install the software for your Little Spot Mini. Okay. A 3D model named Rocktopus will automatically load. Locate the included 1 meter, 40 inch green or yellow coil of hip sample filament. It looks like Little Spot is fully invested in hips and isn't actually using ABS anymore. I, I mean, I can totally understand it. ABS smells horrible. I, I've never printed with that before, so we'll see how that works out. A quick guide for Cura. That looks pretty good. So this is actually a pretty nice manual if you look at it. There's all the important steps to actually getting your first print going. This a filament reference guide. How to get it to stick to your bed. How what temperature to print it on. This is this is a really nice touch that they included this. All right, let's see how fast we can get printing. There's a fly in here somewhere. All right, completed. I think I might need power. Ooh. Yep. There we go. Should be good to go. Let's hit print and see what it does. That's amazing. Oh, so it does that. <laughs> That's kind of cool. So it actually does the auto leveling through the stainless shims and closes an electrical circuit. That's that smart. All right, here we go. Okay, I'll let this guy print and I'll be back when this thing is done. All right, are we done? Yeah, look at that. It smells like barbecue in a good way. Well, kind of, it, it smells better than PLA or ABS, that's for sure. Ah, uh, this is... ha! Ah. ah, this is still pretty toasty. This print is actually looking surprisingly good. That's just the very first print with no tuning, no setup, no calibration, nothing. Not even setting up the, the height of the print head. That's pretty impressive. Your printer is now actively cooling. Do not attempt to remove your 3D printed object before the print bed moves forward. Attempting to do so could either burn your skin on the hot end or print bed or damage your 3D printed object. Okay. Ah, there we go. So this means that it's now cool enough to remove the print with some slight knifing. Let's try this. There we go. So this is looking pretty darn good for a first print. It's got some minor issues like some strings here and there and 
Uh, it's still using pretty rough layer heights, but again, it's looking pretty darn good. So that was my quick unboxing and first print video. Um, like I said, the, the getting to the first print with the Loadspot Mini was super painless. And if you look at the time, that took me like 45 minutes to get this print out. That's super impressive and I've never done it that far. So stay tuned for the full review.